Hello Capricorn, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about how the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time, how they feel about you, what are their intentions towards you. Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate for every Capricorn watching and not every reading here on my channel is going to resonate for you. So let's jump right in for Capricorn. So Angel Skies insight clarity please spirit on capricorn's person the person they are currently thinking about or connecting with at this time what do we need to know about this other person's thoughts feelings energies towards capricorn and this connection what are they thinking feeling when it comes to capricorn or this connection the lovers wow gemini energy the Knight of Wands reverse. Okay. I heard stop and go. And the Ace of Pentacles reverse. Okay. So what I'm seeing here is a very strong connection. At least they feel like you are possibly someone that they get along with. Um, a soulmate, perhaps someone that they see themselves with, or, you know, you marry each other. There's just a special bond between you with the lovers, a true partnership. But I feel like there's no commitment here or commitment hasn't been able to just get off the ground, get started uh, with the Ace of Pentacles reverse and the Knight of Wands reverse. And the Knight of Wands reverse, they typically uh, make promises they can't keep or they don't really think about the consequences of their actions. So sometimes their behavior or decisions end up backfiring. The Knight of Wands also when he's reversed is not very reliable. Um, they show up whenever they're able to, um, and they're not able to commit even if they wanted to. So the Ace of Pentacles reverse here also tells me that possibly they weren't able to commit to you. Now the bottom of the deck is the Ten of Wands reverse. So it could very well be that there's some sort of obstacle or obligation or something that this person is like involved with that weighs them down, keeps them busy, keeps them elsewhere. And perhaps this burden needs to be dropped before they're able to commit to you. Um, let's get some more insight here about your person. Poor Capricorn spirit. Tell me more about this person's thoughts, energies when it comes to Capricorn or this connection. What are they thinking, feeling? when it comes to Capricorn or this connection? What are they thinking, feeling? What do we need to know? Mysterious, enigmatic, and mystifying. These are from, uh, the, basically combined two of my decks, the Stellar Rainbow deck and the Stellar Energy deck here. Balancing act and lasting promise. So again, this stop and go energy, I'm getting that with the balancing act card. It's almost like it's it's always been kind of, I don't know, I feel like for the Capricorns that I'm reading for, your connection has never truly felt steady or like it's it's never been a solid, like I'm picturing a rail, railroad track right now, but there's pieces missing. So it's not a smooth ride. Let me get one more. And with Mysterious, I'm getting almost like there's not enough clarity. There's things that maybe haven't been communicated or expressed, or there's almost like someone wondering what the other person is thinking. What are they, what are they planning? What's, what's their goal? What's their intention, right? So it's almost like someone can't figure out the other person. And um, this is kind of causing issues. Okay, so we have Victory Lap and Divine Feminine. So what I get here is that someone's hoping for success or victory, but there's all this other stuff going on. Now, Lasting Promises here, which is a card about commitment, longevity, future, the future being, you know, a lasting promise. Um, this could also be a card about marriage, long-term connections. So I don't know if one of you is already in a marriage or a long-term commitment. But I sense that someone is still hoping for success despite all of this with their Divine Feminine. 
So let's get some more insight for Capricorn. Can you get some more insight, please? Some clarity on these energies. What's going on here? Tell me about the lovers. Now the lovers, traditionally, it's a card about a choice. The choice between what your heart is telling you and what your mind is telling you. That almost duality, that conflict. Why is the lovers here? But in this particular deck, which is, this is the Northern Animal Tarot, and I have her website listed in the description box. It's like two otters that make a beautiful pair. What do we need to know about this lover's energy? There's the Ten of Wands again and the King of Cups. So again, I feel like someone is in love. There are genuine feelings here. King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. But I, I sense there's a burden as well. And this is the main problem here. Can I get some more insight into this Ten of Wands? Why is the Ten of Wands here? Four of Cups. Yeah, so it's almost like an opportunity that can't be accepted or someone is unable to have an opportunity. Maybe they're closed off to an opportunity or just they're emotionally checked out, depressed, not interested, not able to see a way out. The Four of Cups can't see the cup that's being shown right in front of them. So this could be somebody that is so weighed down, so bogged down, that they literally cannot see forward. They can't see a future other than the one that they have. Now, bottom of the deck, I have the death card, Scorpio energy here. So endings, changes, transformations. The death card is really a card about an ending that brings a new beginning. It's a almost like a cyclical nature. Now, for a very small number of you, there has been a death in the family. This has been a big stumbling block for a particular person. There's a lot of responsibilities now because of this family member being gone. That's for a small number of you, but I get the sense of someone um, trying to keep it together after this loss. Um, I don't know if this is something that you are also experiencing or if this is them, but this is definitely a, an obstacle. For others of you, I get the sense that something in this person's life has to end or change. They cannot continue the way things are going. And this is, this is the, the issue, it's this balancing act. They're trying to juggle when really they can't keep both balls in the air or boat whatever they're juggling they can't do both tell me about the knight of wands reverse why is the knight of wands reverse five of pentacles yeah there's been losses difficulties struggles because of this knight of wands reverse someone that can't again i, I get the sense that things have backfired not gone well for this person and when it comes to you, they keep making mistakes when it comes to this connection. Excuse me, can I get one more for the Knight of Wands? Reverse. Yep, there's the juggling again. It does not end well. Two of Pentacles. Oh, what's this? Oh my gosh. Two cards just fell out. The Tower and the Six of Wands, uh, Swords, sorry. So again, <laughs> I feel like this person, there's a tower looming here and it's tied to a departure. Either they dropped the ball with you and you left or they left the connection or they have to cause a tower and leave their situation. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles reverse. Wow, the Wheel of Fortune. Can I get one more, please, for the Ace of Pentacles reverse? Ace of Cups. Yeah, a complete turnaround here. Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Cups. This is a beautiful opportunity in love. Events that work out as if by magic, right? Serendipity, fate, luck. 
I sense that there's an opportunity for change. Can I get one more? Yeah, justice. Yeah, this is big. Libra energy. I feel like someone has the opportunity to have this victory lap. There is potential here for a turning around, uh, an improvement. I just don't know if they're able to see that. It's almost like spirit could even assist here. So let's look at their true intentions and next actions when it comes to Capricorn. Spirit, tell us about their true intentions, next actions when it comes to Capricorn or this connection. What is this person's true intentions, next actions? Justice reverse. Page of Cups, Six of Cups. Bottom of the deck, the Ace of Swords. Very important, I think clarity is very important because either a conversation needs to be had, clarity needs to be, you know, gained. But just as reverse with all these other cards, it's almost like someone's apologizing or expressing, you know, feelings about something that's not balanced, not right with just as reverse. Maybe this is someone that wants to take this justice and turn it around. Turn all of this around. With an offer. Page of Cups. Tell me about justice. Reverse. But that, I feel, takes this sword. This sword is what kind of will turn all of... I think the sword is really the most important part here. Someone needs to see and communicate at the same time. Yeah, Nine of Wands, this is your person. This is the problem. Your person has been through it. I, I really feel this is emotional. For a lot of you, this is someone that's just <clears throat> overwhelmed, exhausted, not happy. This Ten of Wands is just not a good place to be. Tell me about Justice Reverse. Tell me about Justice Reverse. Five of Wands. Tell me about the Page of Cups. Yep, Queen of Swords, Three of Swords. Tell me about the Six of Cups. So with the Three of Swords and the Queen of Swords, I'm almost getting a very difficult conversation, a conversation that's upsetting, maybe even um, a truth that's upsetting. And someone could apologize for this. Tell me about the Six of Cups. King of Swords. Yeah, this is... This is all tied to this Ace of Swords, which is kind of what I was picking up when I saw it. Five of Wands, conflict, drama, things not really working out. I feel like there's some sort of internal battle your person's experiencing or a battle that they're experiencing with other people. For a small number of you, this could even be like family estates, wills. Um, tell me about the Justice Energy Reverse. The Empress. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, wow. Again, I feel like there's a specific Capricorn watching this video. Your person is dealing with some sort of death in the family. The mother is very Im involved. There's issues within the family. Fighting. Competing. But I, that's just a very small number of you. It just keeps coming up. Others of you, I feel like this is a problem your person has to solve. Um, and they can only solve it by fighting back. And for some reason, they have to communicate to you what's going on and that there might be delays. Tell me more about the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. Can I get one more, please, Spirit, for the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords? What do we need to know about this Queen of Swords? Ten of Pentacles, long-term commitments, family, tradition, Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck. This is that internal battle I've been kind of thinking about, or not thinking, but sensing more than anything. Um, your person is very conflicted. Um, let's see what we can get with uh, some Oracle cards here. Tell me more about this person's energy. I think they have a, whoever I'm talking, whatever, for the Capricorns that I'm reading for, your person has a lot that they're dealing with right now. 
if this is someone that's completely chill, no issues <clears throat> in their life, they're just skating by, <laughs> this is not your reading. <clears throat> this is um, this is a situation where someone, one of you, and I feel it's your person because this is what this reading really centers around. They're really overwhelmed, bogged down, trying to do too much, trying to keep too much in the air. And they want success, but it's very difficult to deliver. What do we need to know about this person's thoughts, feelings, energies towards Capricorn, to this, towards this connection? What do we need to know? You matter to me. I see you in my dreams. Bottom of the deck, please forgive me. I don't really sense any action here from these energies. Let me get a stellar soulmate. Let me get some more insight about this person. Let me get some more insight, please, about this person. Insight, please, guidance about this person's energies towards Capricorn. What do we need to know? What do we need to know? When I miss you, I look at photos of you. I haven't been the same since we met. Again, um, I get the sense that this person's thinking about you a lot because the King of Cups is here, makes sense. Um, but I don't think you're the problem. I think they have other things going on in their life that are issues for them. Um, when things get tough, they think of you, they look at photos of you, they dream of you. I do sense that here. And it's almost like they need to reassure you that they still care about you because of everything else that's going on and the fact that they haven't been able to deliver. Now, the issue that I see here is that there is a tower, a tower here, the death card that showed up, the wheel of fortune and justice. It's almost like things need to be taken care of. <clears throat> things need to be addressed. Your person has to be willing to address this problem. Ten of wands, five of pentacles, this issue within a group of people, the three of swords, you know, communicating honestly. It's like, this needs to be addressed. And I feel like your person's buckling under this pressure. Like, I don't, I see them trying to do it all, but they can't do it all. That's, that's something they need to be aware of. If they continue down this path, I feel like they will end up with nothing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry about my throat. I just can't, can't seem to clear it. Tell me about this three of swords. Tell me about this three of swords. When it comes time to take action, right? Um, yeah, again, issues, 10 of swords, five of swords. These are conflicts, these are problems. And the hangman tells me this person's stuck in this situation and it's very painful. And I think it affects you as well, Capricorn, because you're not getting anything as well. So they're not happy, you're not happy. The situation is just continually like this circle. And all they can do is apologize to you or give you some sort of heartfelt message. But that's that's not really addressing this issue. What concerns me, and I'm just going to be keeping it real with you guys here, I don't see an active energy here. There's no King of Wands. There's no Chariot. There's no Six of Swords that showed up. <clears throat> well, actually showed up here, but with the Tower. This move, you know. They would need to make this move on their own. And I feel like this is what they're thinking about, but they're not actually acting on it. When it comes time to actions and intentions down here, it's all communication and thinking. It's all feeling pain. <laughs> but that's not enough. I don't feel like that's enough. I think they really care about you, but this problem needs to be resolved. If you are going to be together, you need to see action from this person. It's words you know trying to keep things in in the air trying to balance and do it all on their own it's not going to end well i see a ten of swords here yeah and there's the devil capricorn there you are things are not going to end well for this person if they keep this up so that's what i have for you capricorn i kind of went over on time but i felt like this was a very specific message um i hope that you enjoyed this reading hit the like button if you did Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care